Hey everybody, it's Millie here with Crafting in My PJs. And I wanted to show you some, oh, what do you call it, product haul that I got from Dollar Tree and from Hobby Lobby in the last few days, specifically to help me put together my Christmas junk journals. And these are um, little golden books that I'm putting together for my grandkids for Christmas. And in watching, now I, I'm, my printer's in the background. I'm sorry about that. It's taking like forever to print something. All right, so I watched for these, specifically for these Christmas little golden books, Crafty Crafts by Deanna and the Boho Suitcase. And from those videos, I think it was Crafty Crafts by Deanna, but I think maybe both, um, is where I latched on to interactive books. Because those creators, or at least Deanna, but probably both of them, put interactive things in their junk journals for the kids to play with as they read the story. And then that's what led me to starting to put the paper dolls in my junk journals. And I've only done a few, um, specifically for my grandkids. So they had something to play with too. Does that mean that this junk journal that I have taken hours and hours and hours to put together like this one, I'm just going to turn over to any of my grandchildren and let them play with them um, without any kind of supervision. Absolutely not. There's small pieces, there's handmade items, but I can make an altered junk journal, an altered golden book, just like I showed you, using one of the Christmas ones, have pieces incorporated into it so that the kids have something to play with while the parent can read the story with the child and then something they can do take away from the book so you take those handmade pieces out you know that the kids can play with and then the parents can come back and put pictures or keepsakes in the junk journals from that year's christmas so it's kind of an interchange thing gives something for the kids to really, really play with, gives an activity for both the children and the parents to do together, reading the books, these classics, and then gives um, the parent something to have to put keepsakes and photos in to remember that Christmas and future Christmases with. So I just think it's a great idea. The ones I've collected so far, I've got two of the Rudolph. This one's like a, um, a sequel. <laughs> I've got the Christmas story and I have the night before Christmas. And I think I might have one or two more in the stash as I find them, I buy them. They're usually 50 cents or less. My in initial purchase was off of Marketplace and I was able to get, um, I think 20 of them for $20, something like that. And there were a few Christmas ones in there. And then uh, a family member just bought me a box of little golden books from an auction. So I'm really excited and anxious to see which ones are in there. And she paid like pennies on them. So let's get started. So what I've been doing, I have lots of Christmas paper. So my Christmas paper, I'm good. Um, I do not have a lot of tags or ephemera made for my books, but I'm on the search for stuff to make those things because, you know, it's, it's right before Thanksgiving now. So if I'm going to give this to my grandkids for Christmas, I really need to get moving on it. It actually might be next Christmas, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. So I was on the lookout for items to put in the book. So I started at Hobby Lobby and... Um, the first thing I came up with were some bells and everything was like 50 or 60% off or 40% off, something like that, the Christmas stuff. So that was pretty good. So bells, which I think will go on the, the end, 
as um, the dangle there, the, some bells. I almost wish I had gotten bigger bells, but I can add to it if I want. So um, the other thing is on the clearance rack, I did find this red checked material, which will make a great spine cover. All told, it was $3 and some change. And um, it's three quarters of a yard, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to use it for um, all of my junk journals. And then I was looking for things. Oh, wait, let me show you this. This I found in the uh, on the clearance rack. It was $1.99, and it's... No, I'm sorry. This is from Goodwill. I'm looking at it going, this wasn't from Hobby Lobby. This was from Goodwill. It was on the it was on Goodwill and it was $1.99. It was not a sale day. Like some days of the week, things are certain percentages off. But look at all those buttons. I mean, that's gonna there's some red ones in there. This is gonna be great for all of my junk journals. I forgot I put that in the bag. All right, $1.99. There you go. And if I would have waited a week, I think it would have been 50% off. But I didn't want to lose those buttons. Those were good. All right. So, oh, and this was this was another thing I found at Hobby Lobby. This really was Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, and it says $5.99, but everything was not $5.99. It was like half that. So I thought this would be great. Look at this. Uh, do you call it ribbon? It has these stuffed stars on it. It has some pearl beads. It has some twine. Um, I thought that would be great for the dangle part as well. Add those bells up in there. Add some shredded checked material and some other ribbons. And I think it's going to be great. So that was for the dangle on the spine. Awesome. I really like the textures in here. We like textures in my family. Um, we have kids that really like to feel textures. All right, so this was the other thing I got at um, Hobby Lobby, and it was Santa, It and there's two to a pack, so I have six all told, I have six grandkids. So there's Santa, there's a reindeer, and there's a gingerbread, and you can put clothes on him. You know, I'm into this whole paper doll thing. The problem is, when I got home and I measured it, he's way bigger than my book so he's even much wider than my books so or at least that one is I mean the this one so I don't know these might just be a project that the kids get to make at Thanksgiving in preparation for Christmas or I may make some sort of pocket in the back of the book and add it in there where it wouldn't interfere I don't know but it was really too big so uh, but they are cute, and I think the kids are going to love putting them together and making choices about what to put on each uh, person thing. So, so that was cute. That was Hobby Lobby. Then I went to um, Win Dixie to pick up something for my husband, and lo and behold, they had these cute uh, Christmas themed notepads. And so I really do think I'm going to split these up into maybe two, three, four, I don't know, maybe six. Because, I mean, the, the kids don't need a whole lot. And that'll be great to go into a pocket. See, it just fits. I mean, just fits. But it'll be great. It'll be great in the book. Great for Christmas notes. Um, I like that. So that was Winn-Dixie. That was our grocery store down here. So you got to check those little holiday sections in the beginning, in the front of the store. All right. So now I have um, Dollar Tree. And I did buy a lot of stuff at Dollar Tree. Now, I will tell you, in addition to loving to make these junk journals, I also, um, I work with young kids. That's my job. And so I do do a lot of um, bingo marker, dabber marker type coloring pages and um, decorating things. And so um, some of this will be for the junk journal. Some of it will probably be for work. Some of it will be, I don't know, it, for everything. So this was, these were some of the Christmas ribbons that I grabbed. 
I could have grabbed so many more, but I, I really didn't want to spend. I mean, that's $5 right there on ribbon. And that's probably enough ribbon to do all of my books. Um, so I'm trying to be a little bit frugal because if you saw my room, it's really getting hard to walk around in here. So, um, yeah. All right. And so this was something I don't know. Let's see if it fits. Let's see the size. Yeah. Eh, yes, it would fit if I decided to put it into um, one of the journals. It will. Otherwise, it's a really good backdrop for the kids to decorate um, with some stickers. Uh, but look, nice little Christmas tree. Good interactive. I can. There's 12 in here. So I can split these up with some uh, some stickers in a little baggie and a plastic cellophane baggie and stick it in a pocket and that would be great. So, and, and you know, for these things, you have to grab them while you have them because come after Thanksgiving, they're gonna get scarcer and scarcer. All right, so this was another thing I found and I thought would be cute in the books. Now, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I did not realize it had to and from. I thought it was just very much a um, looking like a uh, a bookmark, but now I'm seeing it has to and from. I don't know if I really want that in the junk journals, but I can cover that up with some ephemera of some type. And aren't those cute? I, it did not have to and from on the back. That's where I originally looked. All right, but they're still cute. 18 of them for $1.25. All right, and then this, see, this is what I originally saw. Oh, it does have to and from at the bottom. I missed it completely. Oh, well. But again, I could put a piece of ribbon across the bottom and cover that up. It makes cute little tags to go in the junk journals. Um, 18 of them, $1.25. Um, the other thing I found, you see they have all these kits out. And like I said, these are great for the junk journals, but they're also really good for... Um, the kids I work with and my own grandchildren. So these were do-it-yourself ornaments and there's gingerbread man. So you put all of his little pieces on. Sometimes these pieces are really hard for the kids to manipulate. Um, but that was really cute. Five, five to a pack. Five to a pack. I don't know if you can see. All right. Um, let's see what else. Oh, these were the stickers. I bought a couple of packs of those that I usually put on those felt or foam pieces. The uh, Christmas tree is a felt Christmas tree, but they're nice and glittery. So you could take, you know, like a strip down that way for, and cut this up for like three. So three Christmas trees per bag would work. All right, so more ornament kits. Um, critters, Christmas critters, puppets, um, really not ornaments, they're puppets. I don't know if I have any, let's see, the books I have, oh, this one has stickers on it. Christmas Story, Rudolph, and The Night Before. I don't know, but that could fit into some of the books. Just fun, put it together. All right, and then this was a snowman. Again, he could fit in the Rudolph book for sure. Oh, look how cute he is with all of his little um, cold dots. His little black dots were cold mouth. All right, and then this I thought was, oh, no, we're back to, oh, this is um, stockings. I was looking at the, oh, you've got to buy the stockings. I don't have the stockings. I have to go back and get stockings. Well, son of a gun, how you like that? Three, stocking decorations. You could also, I have some red felt. I could probably just cut out stocking and stitch that up really quick. And I think I have some furry um, scraps that could go along the top. But, all right, so um, decorations for stockings. Be cautious, you need the stocking part. Um, and then this, I was so excited. Um, again, finger puppets, and it is the nativity scene. So I think the three wise men and Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. And one of the books was the Christmas story. And I only have one Christmas story. So that could definitely go in there. Isn't that cute? All right, so that was that. And then the last thing I have to show you is 
um, at Dollar Tree, uh, they had Christmas napkins. So I had red, uh, red with the white snowflakes and the red snowflakes and red poinsettias. And what am I going to do with those? Well, um, in following some of the creators that I really like with the junk journals, um, Shabby Dabby Doo Da and Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Da and Pam from the Paper Outpost. They'll take napkins and you take off all of the layers except for the colored top layer and glue them on manila folders and, um, and then decorate and cut out and decorate and you can make tags with them. And they go great in any kind of junk journal. So I thought that I could make a bulk amount of tags with literally just a few napkins. I've got two different styles here. And to find decorative, decorative napkins for $1.25 is a good deal because I've looked at Tuesday morning and other places and they still want a fortune. So, okay, and my printer stopped. I hope you heard that because um, the other thing I thought about putting in the, the journal to make it interactive was some color sheets. So I went on to um, Google and I typed in free Christmas printables for children. So one of the things that caught my eye right away was this Christmas tree because it's kind of blank. So you have some coloring. I did copy and paste it into Word so that I could put it in landscape, so I could fit two images on a page because that's a really good size for the book without having to uh, fold it in any way. Now, I could leave this just like this and a child could decorate it just like this. Or what I most likely will do is I have in my stash somewhere here, I have round circle stickers, like um, you get them at the stationery store, like at Office Depot, and they're just round. And um, they are great, it's good fine motor for the kids to pull off and put on and would make ornaments. And so I could put, there's usually red, blue, yellow, and green, and so I would probably give all colors and just let them decorate. So I have that, and then the other thing that just finished on my printer was some um, color your own bookmarks. I don't know why this took so long to print, but it did. Color your own bookmarks. So it was Merry Christmas, and Hark the Herald Angel Sings, and Let It Snow, Let It Snow. So I thought those were great. Um, I, whenever I find things on Google, I um, save them into a file so I can go back and get them if I want to replicate this journal again. The other thing that I do is any ephemera, old ephemera that I might actually have, I take and scan it on my scanner and I actually use the scan copy and I keep the original. Um, because any old ephemera that I personally own has some sort of sentimental meaning to me. And so I still might want to share that with a family member, but I may not want to get rid of it completely. I have one more thing to show you. Um, I got at Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago, but I'm going to show it to you because I think this would be great as part of the, the dangle on the spine, the spine dangle. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So this was, or is, Christmas bead treasures. I bought it for another craft, but I think that those beads would be great on the spine in a Christmas journal. So that, again, was from Hobby Lobby, but was not $9.99. It was at least, it was either 40 or 60% off. I mean, they've been running the holiday stuff so cheap. All right, that's it. Those are my um, treasures that I have come across in the last few days for pre in preparation for my Christmas junk journals. Um, 
I am going to start working on these next week. So uh, I might film some of it. And if you'd like to come along for uh, the creation journey, um, I'd be glad to have you. All right. Any idea how to get rid of these stickers without killing the, <laughs> the, the cover? Maybe. So, I don't know. It looks like it's just the sticker that's sticking. All right. Okay, that's it, guys. And let me know in the comments, if you watch this, well, <laughs> if you're listening to me, you're watching the video. What should I do with these big ones? Should I try to make them a part of the story? I mean, reindeer. Isn't that cute? The reindeer with the reindeer. Or, because it can make a big pocket in the back, but he's going to hang out. He would hang out the top like that. You know? Or... Should I, should I scrap this idea completely and just let the kids make them at Thanksgiving or on Christmas Eve when we're all waiting to open gifts? I don't know. All right, so let, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. I am going to be putting out more videos, more on junk journals because that is my obsession right now. And then also just other general crafting. I like to do a lot of uh, Dollar Tree crafts. That's my, my, my fun. So, um, and I am in Dollar Tree all the time. So anyway, if you'd like to, if you like the video, please give me a like um, and a subscribe. And I will see y'all later. Bye.